Rudolf Ivanovich Abel, alleged the highest-ranking Russian spy ever indicted in the United States, is returned to Brooklyn for arraignment in federal court. Arrested here for illegal entry, he was sent to Texas for deportation. Then a search of his quarters revealed espionage equipment, deportation was canceled, and Abel faces charges that carry a possible death penalty. Abel posed as an artist and photographer under the name of Emil Golfus with a shop in Brooklyn across the street from the U.S. Attorney's office. Now named as a colonel in the Soviet secret police, after nine years of spying, Rudolf Ivanovich Abel is brought to the bar of American justice. The SS President Hoover is a fitting setting for the birthday party of its great namesake, Herbert Hoover who celebrates the reaching of his 83rd birthday with four generations of his family about him. It's actually a double celebration, for the former chief executive was not present when the passenger liner named in his honor was launched. It is his first time aboard and a festive occasion. The nation joins those present in best birthday wishes for a distinguished elder statesman. Dutch freighter built for a Danish line in the greatest sideways launching in European shipbuilding history. The channel is only 160 feet wide. There's no room to spare. She kicks up a mighty splash on the opposite bank, but the launching is a success. At the Air Force Missile Testing Center, a dummy guided missile takes to the air. It's a stand-in for the giant Snark, developed for use in testing a new mobile launching platform. Similar in size and shape, the dummy is expendable. No need to risk the costly long-range missile in mere tests. A stand-in does the dirty work. And as these Defense Department films show, when it's time for the actual performance, the real Snark blasts off without a hitch. For the unusual in coiffures, Grive is your man, ladies, if you live in the San Francisco area. At his salon in San Mateo, a noted hairstylist feathers his nest with original ideas, like putting feathers on my lady's hairdo and calling it the parakeet. For the schoolgirl who is serious about figures, and what girl isn't, the number nine hairdo figures. And for the gal who's apt to claw a hairstylist, leopard skins hold her down while he completes the transformation to leopard woman. Is this the spot to say it's mighty purdy? For the gal who loves her car, there's the swept wing hairstyle, complete with rear lights, bumper, and exhaust pipes. Plenty of mileage per gal.